go to the Tools panel in Photoshop and select the Gradient tool. With that selected, just go up here and select the Gradient. Now I'm just going to go with one of the gradients here, maybe a rainbow, so a nice rainbow design there. Also you can set the blending mode, so go maybe for normal, you can use any of them of course. The opacity, so set the opacity, also the method, linear, and also I'm going to go with radial. Well, if I have to do that every time, obviously there's quite a few steps there and it would be nice to be able to quickly access all those in one quick go. So I can go here, tool presets, just click there and then I can turn around and say, well, let's just quickly add this now. I can click here, new tool preset, as well as click here. So I'm just going to click there and I'm going to call it gradient for. I could call it something more sensible, click OK. And you can see it's been added there. Now, if I go to another tool, let's just go to just any of the other tools, then go up here, you can see nothing's there. Current tool only. If I go back to the gradient and then click there, you can see now I've got all of them. So I can just go for this one, circle rainbow. So you can apply that. And that uses all of those settings. It's all been stored away. Click there, gradient tool there, and you can see my rainbow one is brought back straight away. Now you don't have to have the presets here. So if you've suddenly lost all these, all those are all gone. Doesn't matter that this preset here remembers the details of that gradient and you can apply it very quickly that way. And you can see, again, you've got the design very quickly or again, go to one like this, different yellow, blue and so on. So you can create a vast amount of different designs simply just by going up to here, the tool presets. Now you can save it. You can go over to this little menu here and there's an option here of reset, load, save and replace. Now it's slightly old fashioned because of course the way that Photoshop works now, if you've got lots of import features and export, but this for some weird reason is still left over as load, save and replace. That was how it was done a few years ago, which is odd. But you can see all the various settings here. Also crop and text. Hmm, haven't tried those. Anyway, that's tool presets and you can always save a new one very quickly just by clicking there. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.